one tip that we found to be really helpful, and that is getting your trailer set up properly. We've taken time, winter, rainy days, to really spend time scrutinizing how our trailers are set up, what kind of products, what kind of equipment, tools, etc., that we can get upon our trailers so that when we get to the job site, we have everything that we need. We're going to take some time and point out some of the things that we've done to help you get yourself organized with your trailers to help you be more productive on your job sites. So here's a few things that you might find helpful. Right in front, we have our cones for safety purposes for when we're on the side of the road. In the gooseneck itself, we carry fuel cans, miscellaneous fittings for conduits. Behind that, we have our filter fabric, which we use to segregate our clear crushed stone from backfill material. Below that, we carry our grade stakes and layout stakes. Behind that and underneath the trailer, we carry a few pieces of pipe, normally three 10-foot pieces of Schedule 35 green. Also, we carry two white pipe for drainage and whatnot. Above that, then, we carry our hose. We're a big believer in adding water to our base materials when compacting to try to attain our 98%. Next to that, we have our loot rake. That's a quickie loot rake that we sell. Great tool for grading, along with other grading tools there. Below that, we have our quickie block clamp. Again, something we use often for setting our retaining wall blocks and also for our step treads. Above that, we do have a clothesline that we've added. We carry a lot of miscellaneous fittings on there. As you can see, it's a great feature. You're on a job, you dig into the ground, you hit somebody's drainage pipe, you need a fitting or whatnot, you have it there. Moving up on top of the racks that we uh, custom built for ourselves, we have on the far side, small 12 inch grading bucket or drainage digging bucket. Next to that, a two and a half foot wide aggressive bucket with teeth for digging in aggressive soils or rock. Next to that, we have our snappers. We have a small and a large. Great tools that we've found to be extremely helpful. Many of our materials we have different size block on, so that's extremely helpful having two. We have our CR3 next to that. It's a great uh, compactor. Below that, our CR7. That's our latest addition. Machine that all our guys have really fallen in love with. It does have the comp control that uh, with the lighting system that lets you know when you've hit 98%. Phenomenal tool. On the far side of the trailer is our SRV 590 jumping jack. And again, extremely useful tool. That'll uh, actually ram down close to 30 inches. So up against foundations or where soils have not been compacted properly in the past, it's a great tool for that. On the trailer itself, we have a track machine with forks in bucket. Behind that our excavator. On our excavator we also have a wrist to twist and a thumb. And that also has a three foot wide grading bucket with a flat blade on it which is nice because we're not disturbing our soils and we're digging for our retaining walls. One last thing you'll notice is that we do have our chains and binders there and those are all color coded. So we'll actually take just the Rust-Oleum paint, we'll paint the D-rings on the machines, we'll paint the D-rings on the trailer, we'll paint the chains and the binders so that everything is color coded so when you take the chains out to put them on the equipment, every chain has a, has a place as well as every binder. Hopefully these things can be helpful. That's just to name a few of our tips and things that have helped us be prosperous and productive and hopefully can be a help to you too.